guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and yes, I have Spitzer, our hedgehog, what a cutie. And you know, when you met him years ago, he was very shy, but he is a completely different hedgehog nowadays because we've been, well, we've been handling him quite a bit and getting used to people, and as you can see, he's doing really, really well. Now, I, you know, I, the more I learn about hedgehogs, and I do, I learn so much, even, even into my career now, there's just so many cool things about hedgehogs that I love. Now, of course, one of the things is obviously those quills. That's the first thing you're going to notice. They have about 6,000 of those quills on their body. It's a far less cry from por porcupines, which can have about 30,000. But the thing is, Hedgehog quills, they're a little bit harder and they're sharper than a porcupine quill. And remember, they cannot be released off their body, so they're stuck on this guy's little body there. But the other cool thing is, is obviously his whole back is filled with those quills, so when he's upset, he's going to roll into a ball, and so he's nothing but a ball of quills, and obviously that's scary when you're a predator that wants to eat him. And the cool thing is, I don't know if you'll let me show you real quick, but his belly, they've got a really strong muscle that goes down the bottom of their, their quills there that constricts, and that's what of course rolls him into a ball, creates a pocket that he puts his head and tail into. But what a cool defense mechanism that is. Now, as you might remember, there are a few animals that are strong enough to open him up. Things like badgers. Remember Uki the badger here at the zoo? We don't want to put these two together because Uki could eat little Spitzer and we don't want that to happen. Now, these guys are insectivores, so we're going to see if he wants to eat some bugs for us today because it is so cool to watch how these guys crunch. So these guys have these special teeth. Let's see. Oh, look at that, he's finding it. Oh, down it goes, how gross was that? These guys have special insectivore teeth that allow them to, of course, eat that hard exoskeleton of those bugs and an incredible sense of smell in this guy that he can find those bugs as well. So he's gonna get a little treat. Well, as he's down there eating that treat, and it sounds like maybe just one is all he wanted today. Let's see if he wants another. Oh, he does. There he goes, cool. As he's down there eating, one thing I want to mention that these guys do that really panics a lot of people, especially if you have them as pets, is something called self-anointing. So when they find something that they like the smell of, say it's a rose petal, they like that smell, they're going to start foaming at the mouth. They then take that foam and they rub it all over their quills. Well, here's the thing. We don't know why they do that. It's a mystery of science. And it's thought that maybe one or two things, maybe he wants to smell like the rose petal because it smells delicious and nice, or maybe it's a smell that might mask him. So if a predator wants to eat him and he smells a rose rather than a hedgehog, he's going to move on. Who knows? Kind of a cool thing and I love when there's still mysteries of science out there. But my gosh, what cute little critters there are! these guys are. There's 17 different species of hedgehogs in the world, uh, most of which live in Africa and, and Europe. Um, that's where you're going to find these guys in the wild. But guys, until next time, this is Spitzer the Hedgehog and I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.